The San Francisco 49ers got their first official injury report from the game Thursday night against the Giants. And we did get a couple scares. Obviously, the biggest one was Debo Samuel going down. Also, one that wasn't really reported all that much was Tal No Hufanga getting dinged up and then pulling himself off the field and getting worked on for a couple plays before entering the field uh, of play again. And he didn't pop up on the injury report at all. So that's a good sign for Talanoa Hufanga to avoid the injury update completely. Uh, but we did get some updates from Kyle Shanahan, who spoke with local media to discuss where certain players stand in regards to injuries or dings for Thursday Night Football. And this is what we've got right now, and I will be more than happy to share with you. So this is from Nick Wagner of ESPN. He is reporting that 49ers linebackers Demetrius Flanagan Fowles and Drake Greenlaw are day-to-day -day with low ankle issues. And the most important one, the one we have been waiting for, and we heard Kyle Shanahan talk about this at the podium last night, said Debo Samuel had a rib injury. Debo Samuel said he felt like the wind got knocked out of him. This is the official report. Wide receiver Debo Samuel got his ribs checked out. No breaks, but he's sore today and will be day to day. So absolutely fantastic. This was the same situation with Brandon Ayuk. The biggest thing that we wanted to see was no structural damage. And soreness is to be expected. But number one, no structural damage. So that is a good sign for Debo Samuel. And Nick Wagner goes on to say, Niners, of course, have the weekend off. So plenty of recovery time for uh before week four and honestly the way the schedule is playing out right now having this little mini buy heading to week four week five week six seven and eight and then you get your actual bye week week nine and then you go on your end of season run i kind of like how this is set up um i and of course the 49ers will also play on um they will play Thursday night on Thanksgiving week 12, which will be another mini buy, essentially. So based on the, the staggering of this current schedule for the San Francisco 49ers, there's some decent built-in breaks throughout. So, hey, I think this is great sign for the 49ers. Obviously, we heard about Brandon Ayuk. If he was available, he would have played. Uh, I, I would say if this was a Sunday game, he would have played. But I do think they were just being extra cautious with him, didn't want to push it too much and have him uh, potentially re-aggravate re or re-injure the shoulder. So totally understand that. But the San Francisco 49ers got five more games before their next bye, their full bye week. And right now, all things considered, the San Francisco 49ers are 3-0. They're healthy and honestly couldn't have asked for a better, better spot to be in right now. Brock Purdy looks fully recovered from the UCL surgery, which, again, I think hasn't been talked about enough. Um, the fact that through three weeks, Brock Purdy does not have any lingering effects from the UCL, which is huge. So from a health perspective, right now, heading into week four, Brandon Ayuk will likely be back. Dre Greenlaw, Demetrius Fanagan fouls that he'll probably be fine. Um, Samuel Womack will be coming off IR most likely in the next week or so. So the San Francisco 49ers are relatively really healthy considering uh, where a lot of teams are across the league already through three weeks. And this is a really good sign as they get extra days off this weekend. And the 49ers right now have an opportunity to continue to stack quality weeks and if they can continue to stay healthy this is going to be a train that is going to be hard to stop but again it's a long season it's a war of attrition and we'll see what happens ultimately in the long run but knock on wood no serious injuries from here on out but let me know what you guys think about the current status of the team their health Brock Purdy's return from UCL and everything in between drop it in the comments below and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.